We're Kate and Katrina, and if you're new here, we've been spending the last year converting our 91 GMC Vandura Henry into an off-grid tiny home suited for full-time van life. But this van won't just be home to us, it will also be home to our dog. Everyone meet Clyde. Clyde was found as a stray and brought into the animal shelter in Denver, Colorado. At the time, he was only two years old, half of his body weight, and then low spirits. The staff at the shelter would call him a donkey or a mule because of his satellite dishes for ears and unusual hair pattern. This didn't suit him though, and that's why I named him Clyde, because this little Clydesdale has got a personality larger than life. Clyde has been with me for the past eight years through countless moves and hairstyles, and he has loved Cade from the moment he came into our lives. The fact that their names have only a one letter difference is no coincidence. This summer we took Clyde on a few of our van trips and quickly realized that he needed a more permanent space. Get out of my seat, punk. <laughs> After looking into various dog kennels, we couldn't find the one that would fit our exact requirements. So we came to the conclusion that creating and customizing our own dog house would be the perfect solution for our van. Okay, so we're gonna start by building a frame out of this two by two that Katrina is holding. <laughs> and then we're just gonna face it with quarter inch plywood and wire some fans to it and do a bunch of other stuff. You'll see, so here we go. Let's do it. We're gonna start with 21 and see if that sticks out too far. Let's do it. Good job, Major. Thank you. <laughs> So we need four of these. That's how tall it's gonna be. So basically it's gonna look like this, kind of. And then we're just gonna connect in between to build out this kind of like cubish, rectangular prism, what's that called? box. <laughs> we're going <laughs> to fill it in this box and then we're going to face it with plywood. Plywood, put a couple of PC fans on the top. It's going to be great. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Let's get this frame done. that? I thought that was... <laughs> what are you talking about? Okay, so if you don't know, this is how you mark, this is how you mark stuff. You don't Okay, but it was funny because the first line you drew, I thought that was like your straight line and you went like this. <laughs> no, you draw... <laughs> I was like, wow. You draw an arrow, that's that's how you do it. No tick marks. Right, you draw them. That was so funny. I that was that's good. how you do it. And then you take your square <laughs> and you run your square through your arrow. Boom. That's how we do it. Hmm. Teaching you all sorts of stuff today. Deeper post. It does look really tall. The wind is gonna knock it. Ta da! It's gonna be sweet. I say what we do now is we take it in there and set it in there and make sure we like it before we put it together. I think it looks really good just trying to figure out if it if we need to take an inch off the height or not. Yep, this is our our test fit. It is pretty tall. Yeah. But his bed, you know, like True. Yeah, it's the bed. When you're making a crate for a dog, you have to measure when they're sitting, you have to measure from the their feet basically to the top of their head and Clyde was 15 and then you have to add 4 on to that, so it's 19 is the minimum height of a crate that he could be in. And then um, you have to measure from, I'm almost positive that's his nose when he's standing to the base of his tail. 
and then add four inches onto that. And that's how long the crate has to be. And then I can't remember for how wide. I looked it up though, but I can't remember anymore. <laughs> Basically, uh, so you're just not cramming them in this little box. Yeah, it, it makes it so they can stand up in their crate and feel comfortable. And so they can turn around in their crate and feel comfortable. So we're giving him as big of a spot as we can give him. Plus, I just thought of this with the fans hanging down an inch. We better, we might as well just, just leave it. Leave it as tall as it is, yeah. Okay. That sounds good to me. All right, next up. Put it together. Let's put it together. One of the first plans we had was to just build it out of half inch plywood and like, just like we built all the cabinets, but we wanted to make it a little bit stronger and it's easier to build this easier, way, I guess. Yeah. So we're going to just pocket hole, screw all of these uh, two by twos, this frame together and then just face it with quarter inch plywood instead. sure if we were going to run into a problem with pocket screws and pocket screws going into the same post. We tried this going in this way and it, it was hitting these screws. So if you turn them this way, it, it misses the screws. So you can do two in from the top this way and two in from the side this way. And it works. So that's how we're going to do the rest of the box. Well, wow, Clyde's gonna love it. So now what do we do? Now we're gonna test fit it again, probably. And then we gotta stick the sides on. And we're gonna leave the front open. Front's gonna be open, and then back's gonna be completely closed. Yep, and then top, we'll on top, gonna have fans. Two fans in the back, and then it's gonna hinge, probably like right after the fans. So I can always check on him when we're going down the road. Just make sure he's... Okay, and also just pick them up out of there, put them on my lap. How do we take those arms off? Oh, I can't believe hard? you're gonna make me do that. <laughs> Jackson's gonna be so upset. <laughs> There's a metal tube uh -huh. that runs. You would think there, there's gotta be a way to take them off. Yeah, there has to be a way. We couldn't figure out how to get the arms off the seat. So we're not gonna test fit it today. What we're gonna do, we also have to work in a couple hours, but what we're gonna do to finish for today is uh, get the sides, get all three sides on, and then possibly get the top on. We'll see how far we get.
Florida. Okay, here's what we got done today. Everything except for the top. And we're gonna put a face frame around the front as well. Mm -hmm. And then, also probably gonna put a bottom, uh, but we'll, we'll see. So, that is what we're gonna do tomorrow because we are out of time. So, see you, see you tomorrow. We're back. Cade and I both did not sleep the best last night and that's how renovating goes I feel like because you just your brain does not turn off but anyway look at this Cade got the seat out so we get to test fit it and I even brought Clyde's bed over and like a blanket um and look how cute and perfect it is it literally fits so good he's gonna love it and Cade gets to keep his armrest for now. <laughs> Our plan for today is to basically um, put a bottom on it and then also the top. We have to put fans in half of it and then we're gonna try and make some type of flip top on the other half, so. Okay, so the plan is we're going to put another two by two in the frame about here. And then we got two fans and they're gonna sit right next to each other right here. And so we'll cut a quarter inch piece for those fans to mount in. And then the rest, we'll cut another quarter inch piece and then we'll hinge it to open up this way. fan holes. <laughs> this was Kate's first circle attempt. <laughs> wow. But look how I improved. <laughs> That's scary. Ooh, they look nice. Not Good too job. bad. Got a little jaggedy right there. But that's okay. You do this adorable little foot shuffle. What do you mean? <laughs> the cutest little foot shuffle that I had to get a video of when you did oh, this. What does it look like? <laughs> like this. <It's> like... <laughs> <laughs> well, I try not to move too much. It's <laughs> so cute. And you did it on both times. It's getting heavier and heavier. It's getting pretty heavy. 
Cool. Looks Basically so done. good. Look at just it. Just need to put this. Just need to hinge this there, right? Yep. And then that's it. Mm -hmm. So we got this nice long hinge. And we have to use tiny screws. We have a problem, but we'll show you in this in a minute. So when we were doing this, we didn't quite think about the hinge, so we have the hinge in on, on this side, but the screws, we're even using these small half inch screws, and they still go through the quarter inch and into this like cross support thing, which we should have just moved this back so that this one didn't go because you can't screw this to that on this side because then it won't open. So, we have a couple options. One, we screw it in, but we drill little holes at it, like a little bit bigger holes, so the screws just like sit in the holes, and then when we open up, there's just a little, they're just sticking out a little bit, and then I might be able to like grind them off after that. Or other option would be to just glue this. What do you think? Thanks, screw. Screw it, drill mm -hmm. these holes out, and then... And then maybe grind it off if it needs to be. Okay. Let's... We're hoping these screws will stay strong enough, even though they're only gonna be quarter inch long. We'll see. We'll see how it holds up. All right, we are back. It's the next day. We kind of forgot to film something at the end of yesterday, but here is where we are progress-wise. Ta-da! <laughs> yes. We've got the lid working. Got the holes for the fans. So, what do we have left to do? <laughs> Wake up! <laughs> <laughs> um, we have to varnish it today, which we'll see if we can get two coats in. I don't know how much varnish we have left. And then we have to cut a trim piece, which we got. Ta -da. Perfect little trim piece. Thank you, and Grandpa. Yes, shout out, <laughs> Grandpa. And um, we got to paint that. Yep, cut it to size, sand it, and paint it. And we're going to paint it that green color that's in the van. Mm hmm Yes. Okay. Here we go. Let's do it. All right. Great. Feel like that. All right. We got our trim pieces cut. So cute. So we're just going to sand them, paint them, nail them. <laughs> Paint that and then we're done. Still got paint in there? We do! That's crazy that all of these turned out to be the same size. Almost. I didn't even realize that. That's weird. We can't get those mixed up. Holy cow. the dog house, which is going to be a lot more work. We have 
have the box completely finished and now we have to put on the green face frame. Is that where you like it? Okay. Mm -hmm. That was better. Okay. She's permanent. Are they still sticking out? Nice. Okay, bottom. Are we sure we used the right pieces on the right side? I just marked whatever you told me. <laughs> well, this piece is fine, but look how what? off this one is. What do you guys think? Should we just leave the bottom face frame off? So no. it's not it's not on there because we ran into a little issue. This side is just you see that line? It's that much too long. So we gotta cut it, but our tool is charging. So I got this little switch um, for to run the fans, and we're gonna wire our fans to our new battery that we're gonna put in uh, later on sometime. Uh, but I'm gonna mount this in here so that we can just click turn the fans on and change the power and all that. So we're gonna figure this out. <laughs> Okay, we just gotta drill that little hole out. <laughs> drill hole in the new doghouse. Oh no, he's got a little skylight. <laughs> Does it fit? Moment of truth. I don't know. So, like so I just need to, wait, hang on. Oh. <laughs> oh. No, I'm okay. I'm I'm not dumb. <laughs> yet. The hole just needs to be bigger. Oh, uh, okay. It's not going in a little ow. Oh. That's pretty sick. <laughs> <laughs> Want the fans on? Want the fans off? That's gonna be sweet. Fans on. Fans off. Ta-da! Check it out! Oh, it looks perfect! You like it? I love it! Happy? Look how cute it is! <laughs> <gasps> so we just got two cheap little uh, PC fans that we cut the holes for. So we're gonna mount them in there as exhaust fans. And then we have little covers for the top so we don't get our fingies. <laughs> and then we got two just like graded covers for the bottom so we don't get Clyde. So. <laughs> and then we still have to figure out how to mount this switch, but we'll do that tomorrow. But at least we can throw these in there. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> That's how they're gonna run. Yeah, we just it. have to blow in them. <laughs> There's probably quite a bit of stuff in there. Oh now. no, you gunked up my holes. I gunked them up. What? What am I supposed to do about that? Any screws a nail if you hit it hard enough. <laughs> Is this the way we wanted the grates going? <laughs> I, uh, think, I think so. I kind of like so. it the other way. Why? <laughs> What's wrong with that way? Uh -huh. I think that way looks great. Wow. Okay, here, we'll do this. Pun intended. Wow. <laughs> All right, you guys get to decide which way looks better. And if you pick not this way, we'll flip them around. Honestly, babe, I really like this way. I'm not even like joking about it. 
I think it looks way better. Uh, okay, but if still if the game's still on yeah, though, if you if you think that this way looks better, we're putting them back. How's that? Sounds good. <laughs> yes. Yeesh. So arrow tells you which way it goes, right? Up. Right there. Oh, okay. See? Flow. Can't see him. Flow goes up. Okay. Got him. Check that out. This is a luxury. <laughs> okay, now I need to undo my work. Look how beautiful you guys. <laughs> I need to flip this one around. Oh no. Can you tell them what I did? <laughs> Since Kate flipped the box upside down, he, I think, forgot that he did that. And he, you know how he's talking about the arrows earlier? Up. He got the arrows facing the wrong way, so the air would be intaking instead of outtaking. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Welcome. Alright guys, it is the next day, the next morning, and I'm going to show you the progress that we made. So you saw we got the fans mounted last night, and this morning I actually wired them to that switch, and I got the switch mounted. And then for temporary, I just wired it to this 12 volt plug so that I can plug it into uh, my Jackery power bank here. And so I'll show you, plug it in, turn it on. And then here's the uh, pot, the switch right here. We just turn this. Fans come on, we can adjust the power. Click it off. So I'm super happy with that, how that turned out. And now later on today, Katrina and Clyde are gonna come over. We're gonna introduce him to his new house in the van. And so yeah, we'll see you then. Okay guys, Katrina and Clyde just got here. So we're gonna do the big reveal. Let's go get them. Hey, where did she go? Oh, is she in the bathroom? Okay, you stay here. <laughs> Clyde. This is Clyde. <laughs> He's about to see his He's got house. a natural mohawk. It grows like that. <laughs> you excited to see your house? He's been wondering where his bed has been. You know the man. <gasps> Look. What is this? <gasps> what is that? Come here. Come on. Let's go in here. What is this? Clive, what is that? Not sure what to think of it yet. <laughs> He's like, well, my, it's in my bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he thought about it. He likes it. He hasn't even been in it yet. Come on, let's go in here. Come on, come on, come on. It's a blanket on both feet. <laughs> Can't make the jump. <laughs> Can you go in here? <laughs> Maybe, would you go grab his treats? There's just too much excitement going on. If we just sat in here for a while, he would go lay down. Maybe what is this? What we'll have to do. Oh my goodness, what is this? <gasps> what is this? Oh, it's all the way back there. It's in there. It's like, why would you do that? <laughs> I'll put another one. Ready? All the way back there. Right here. Now 
I'll just lay down and enjoy. Right. Oh, this is good. Oh, look at oh, you even did a full turnaround. Yay, that's good. That's a good sign. Yeah. Should we have some more, Claude? Run away. Oh, good boy. Now he's just going right in. Good boy. Can you stay? Stay. Stay. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> stay. Good boy. Okay. Good boy. Yeah, he literally, oh, I can tell he's gonna love it. Yeah? He's gonna go romping in there, <laughs> and he's gonna turn around and lay down and just stare at us all the time. <laughs> it's gonna take Clyde a little bit of time to warm up. All right, that's it. We are so, so happy with Clyde's new permanent space in the van, and we know Clyde will be happy with it too. We cannot wait to get on the road. This just feels like another step closer to being there and we so appreciate each and every one of you guys who subscribe. If you wanna help us out while we're on the road, you can go and subscribe to our Patreon. We would so, so appreciate it. We'll leave a link in the description. We'll see you guys next time.